Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and I am the Video Geek. Today I'll be looking at replacing the fan in your power supply. Remember folks, these videos are completely unedited and these are only my opinions. So let's now swing over and start the procedure of replacing the fan inside your power supply. Okay, what you're looking at here of course is uh, my power supply. This is a um, 300 watt power supply and the fan in this one is kind of making um, a little bit of noise humming so I'm going to replace the fan on this now in my case this power supply has a very long lead so I can I don't have to remove it or unplug all the peripherals or a motherboard and all the other things that it's plugged into so kind of just hanging out of my case here of course the power is unplugged and the switch is turned off so unscrew it from the back of your case and then you'll need to take out four of these screws and then we'll have a look actually inside the power supply itself okay the power supply is apart this is the fan which is actually inside the case itself which either can blow into the case or suck air out of the case. Now, uh, what I'm replacing is actually not this fan right here. Is I'm replacing, there's two fans in this power supply. I'm replacing this fan. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to be connecting this fan here. I've cut the leads and I'm going to be splicing it or connecting it, of course, in with this one here very simply joining them together and screwing them in and putting it back together again in most cases you will see leads that are black and red coming out of your power supply if you are purchasing a fan which has the these kind of connectors on it then all you would have to do is cut them and this just pop it inside the power supply connect them and uh, either with electrical tape or any other kind of electrical taping mechanism to connect it together securely. Okay, so what you can see here now, of course, I've linked this fan together with this fan, and of course, both, both leads go back to the power supply. So now all we have to do is put the top back on, screw it back in the system, power it up, and away she goes. Now, one thing I should note as well, this is a power man. 300 watt power supply. This fan here is actually a 120 millimeter fan and the fan in the back is 80 millimeter. Now this one here is sucking air into the power supply and this one here is sucking out. So again you're sucking air from the system. This is excellent if you don't have a fan sucking air out from the top, the very top of your case. Okay, what you're looking at here of course is the finished product. The fan has been installed and it is working fine. Just remember that when you actually put in the fan, recheck all your connections, all the electrical tape, make sure it's all connected together and not touching or exposed to any kind of metal because the last thing you want is a short in the power supply. Again, this has been another video review. My name is Rodney Reynolds. Check us out at www.thevideogeek.com. Of course, next week we'll have a brand new video review. So stay tuned and check back then.